Hello submarine friends. Today I'm going to build an LED light for my submarine elementary 3000. The light is going to be rated for 3000 feet. It'll actually go deeper. And it's made from a 24,000 lumen light bar that you would buy for a pickup. And this is the end result of what I'm building. So it's oil filled and it's got rubber bellows on the end to act as pressure compensators. This light will go very, very deep and it's very cheap to build. So the first thing that we have to do, we have to take this light all apart. So I just put an Allen key in my drill to remove all these Allen screws. Okay, so we've got all these end screws or the cover screws off. So now we need to take the end caps off. All right, so that one's off. Now we have to do the other end. Okay, I got bored doing this by hand, so I cut the Allen key in half and stuck it in my drill. You can see that's much better. Okay. Now, just pull all this off. So we get to the guts of the light. And what we have to do now is remove all these diffusers. I don't use these, so they just end up in the garbage. I find they don't help. So now, we have to take two Allen screws out the ends. slide out. And there it is. That's the part we want. Okay, now that we have this all slid out, we're going to cut the wires off right at the end cap, leaving as much wire as possible. We're actually going to reuse this wire. This is going in the garbage. This will set aside. And then we're going to just strip the ends of these wires. Easy peasy. I'm gonna slide some shrink tube over. And I like to just take the blue plastic piece off of these crimp on ends. They have to be quarter inch because we're gonna put quarter inch bolts through the end cap that is sealed in epoxy. Check to make sure they're tight. They are encapsulated in epoxy, but still. Slide the shrink tube over the fittings like so. Just took this out of my other shop, which is freezing cold. Probably don't have to do this, but gives it that added professionalism. Okay, so that's it for the board. Okay, so the next step is to cut the acrylic tube, which I buy in longer lengths, to suit this light. To make this light any length or any lumen that you want. So these are the secret to making these lights. These are rubber pipe connectors. They act as the bellow that does the pressure compensating. So one of these goes on each end. And once, once we have this cut, then we make ends with this big gob of plastic stuff that I found. It's just, I don't even know what it is. It's just nice to machine plastic. So that end cap will go there. We wanna make sure that the, the light emitting diodes are all exposed to the acrylic. 
So we'll just mark this. Okay, so my pencil wasn't working very good to mark this, so I grabbed a Sharpie. Now here's the trick I use, and I'm sure everybody uses, to make a line around a pipe or a tube. Just take a piece of sandpaper or anything like it, line up the ends, and then you know you have a straight line. Perfect. So now we got to cut it. I just cut it with a hacksaw. Now I'll just put my legs back. Okay. So I just cut it with a hacksaw, very gentle. I actually don't cut right through. I just penetrate and then rotate it a bit and then continue. Okay, I've got it all cut. Now I'm just gonna clean up the, the uh, acrylic here. It melts actually when you cut it. it makes it a pain to cut. But I manage. Okay, so now comes the next part, which is the tricky part. We're going to machine end caps out of this piece of plastic. If you don't have a lathe, it's okay. What I've done in the past is I've just taken flat plastic, as thick as you can find, and then take a hole saw and drill a hole, or drill it, the plastic sheet, so that you end up with a disc. And then you just do the same thing with the disc as we're gonna do with the machined part. So this is the final size and I've slowed the feed right down so it's a super smooth finish. I'm taking 20 thou off. The cable is now through the end plug. So now we have to put on a couple of quarter inch end connectors, but we want to cut this really short. We're not putting um, shrink tube on here because we want the epoxy to coat the whole thing. Notice that I'm doing this with the cable protruding through here because you can't put these on after. So now that gets pulled back like so, and then these bolts they go right through. Okay. Then we just put the nuts on to hold it. Now, this is where the power wires go to the LEDs. So you can see that's through. Now I'll fill this with epoxy so while it's curing, I can work on the rest of it. Okay, so what I've done already is I slid the circuit board with the LEDs into the acrylic tube. But now to hold this in place, what I do is I cut these little plastic blocks. This is actually PVC pipe heavy wall. So what I do, I drill a teeny hole in the bottom and then they slide in. So I, I slide this back out and then there's a little hole here and it gets screwed right on. So I put four of them on and then I slide it in and that holds the whole thing in place. Okay, so I have all the plastic pieces attached to the back side of the board. And now, theoretically, it should just slide right in. It's hesitating a bit, so I'm just going to take a little more off of this one. Let's try that again. So 
almost all the way in. You want it to be snug, but perfect. Just the way we want it. So now we can go on ahead and attach our end cap. True to the name, the epoxy is set. So these wires, they just connect to these two bolts. Now, make sure the red wire, you can see it in the epoxy, goes here. I did not have enough epoxy. I have to add more epoxy. So I will actually drill this and then cap it right off with epoxy. It's just, I ran out. So the red one is this one. Whoops. Have to slide this on first. I guess you don't have to, but it might make it easier. There we go. Red, red. Okay, so we have the end cap connected to the wires, so now we just slide the rubber boots over the end cap so that it's, oops, so we just want to come up to the cable here and then just tighten these clamps. So that takes care of that end. Okay, so we just fill it with oil. You could fill it through the end with the 1 8 pipe plug, but that takes forever. So I usually fill it most of the way. And then I put the boot on. This is the end cap. Put it on. Now I top this off with a funnel, screw in the, the plug, and that's it. Give it a little test, and it works good. Okay you guys, just to recap, this is the light we just built. I filled it with vegetable oil, two inch acrylic clear tube, two inch pipe connectors. I think they're cast iron pipe connectors. Homemade plastic ends. There's a lot of ways you can do that. Quarter inch pipe plug for filling, electrical cord, epoxy sealed. I have never had a problem with one of these lights. They are super reliable, 24,000 lumen. They're plenty bright. I have had this on my submarine to 300 feet repeatedly and even 500 feet in an unmanned test. I can't stress how good these things work. They're suited for a submarine or an ROV because they're very neutral. The oil makes it very neutral, plus all the components are very lightweight in water. This light will go 3,000 feet without any concern. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We're making many more. Ciao.